This week we are discussing corporate law here in Canada because there was another big shakeup, and to do that, I brought along my colleague Jeff Gray, who covers corporate law here for the Globe and Mail. Jeff, what happened? Well, DLA Piper, uh, one of the biggest law firms in the world, long rumored to be interested in establishing uh, a beachhead in Canada, finally uh, made a move and announced a merger with Davis LLP, uh, which uh, is based out of Vancouver, but is a national law firm, very well respected, but mid-tier uh, law firm that is now going to become DLA Piper Canada, bringing, uh, as I said, one of the world's largest law firms into the Canadian market, following uh, moves by a couple other big uh, global players. What's the trend here? Why is this such a big news? You know, why are more and more people coming to Canada? Well, you have a few tr trends. One, you have the creation of these very large globe-straddling law firms, uh, like Norton Rose Fulbright. And if you're creating a law firm that means to cover the world, then Canada is one of the places you're eventually going to need to be in. And the law firms uh, are also very keen on Canada's natural resources and being part of those deals. Uh, and, and that's why, why they want to be here. And is this kind of an opportune time to strike uh, in the sense that, you know, resources here in Canada are obviously suffering quite a bit. Uh, and, you know, can they kind of get things on the cheap if they come in and make mergers happen now? Is, is that one of the driving trends here? Well, the, maybe the clients. Uh, I think for the law firms, you want uh, the resources to be at, at a high price and the deals to be flowing. Uh, uh, so that's, that's the, the, the key there. But they are getting in, uh, and, and it's obviously a long-term play for law firms. Uh, they they want to be here and establish a presence. Uh, and they have seen their other, other large law firms very similar to them, Norton Rose be, being one also created in recent years by these kind of mergers. I've also been here for a couple of years now. Now, do you get any sense of panic uh, in Canada because you're seeing more and more kind of American or global firms show up in things like lead tables which dictate uh, that they're getting more deal flow? You know, does that cause concern for Canadian law firms? No, I mean, for the top tier law firms on Bay Street, uh, the so-called Seven Sisters, I don't think you see a lot of concern, a lot of panic, um, because when you see these big cross-border deals, you are naturally going to see big U.S. law firm names on the league tables. It's just, that's, that's who the clients are. That's, that, that, that just makes sense. It's, it's a matter of carving up the work within Canada. And uh, those firms have a real lock on, on, on the high-end work here. That said, Norton Rose, uh, by all accounts, looking at the league tables, is doing very well on, uh, in terms of deals. And so being part of one of these big global law firms brings maybe a law firm in Canada that's, that didn't have a lot of name recognition or didn't have the same level uh, as some of these big, you know, the Blakes and the Oslers. You're now working on this platform that is huge and you have that kind of that prestige uh, cell that you wouldn't have had before. Right. That said, or to kind of counter your that said, uh, one thing I have heard is that, you know, people keep saying as though these big deals, you know, there can be one-off type situations, so you don't get too concerned about them. However, we are, we are starting to see more and more of them, and I think you're starting to see a lot more kind of Canadian pension funds going abroad, um, so therefore that global expertise does matter. Uh, and I think that is why you're seeing a bit of panic, you know, in some corners, because no one knows how this shakes out. Right, and that's why you see these firms, uh, some of them want to go global, become part of a large uh, global law firm. And these aren't mergers the way a company uh, merges. These are generally the law firms maintain their independence uh, when they're part of these global law firms. But they want to be able to follow their clients when they go invest overseas. Well, with that, we'll wrap it up. See you next week.